Everybody loves the sunshine Sunshine. Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Hill Chiller Tarot. My name is Angel, spiritual advisor, teacher, and healer. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. This is all about the energy of the day reading for today, for Saturday, April the 9th. April the 20th, 2024, all being born to the energy of 32, culminating to the vibration of five. So we are in some very strong and very positive energy today. So let's go ahead and jump into the astrological and the numerological messages, and then we'll jump right into your reading. Today is a day of personal power, omnipotent possibility for radical change and transformation. Three energy represents perfect self-expression, the vibration of joy, artistic creativity, expressions of talents, skills, and abilities. Two energy represents adaptability, kindness, love, understanding, compassion, and diplomacy. Culminating into the vibration of five, magnetism, adventure, daring, enthusiastic, changeable, the explorer, traveler, and multi-dimensional being. The ability to always transform shape-shifting energy and change. As Jupiter conjuncts Uranus, this is a time of personal expansion. Good luck and good fortune, so be bold and confident yet wise. You, your individuality and uniqueness, intuitive and creative self-expression independence and originality is key today marks the day of a 14-year rhythm of personal discovery a time when new ideas blossom forth into existence calculated risks pay off if you truly believe in what you are creating personally professionally and financially today is a good time to start new projects mercury stations direct at 15 degrees of aries on april the 25th so lay down roots over the next five days create a strong foundation as your desires will take off swiftly the more optimistic you are the better your prospects karmic lesson kindness and forgiveness chakra is root establishing a solid foundation colors to bring in positive energy black indigo and gray metal is lead crystal black blue sapphire herbs my air lavender and cypress tap into your ancestral energy call in the support of your ancestor spirit guides ascended masters and angelic guidance so what i kept getting was tilling the soil right you know we're in that spring energy we're tilling the soil in our planter boxes tilling the soil in our gardens laying down the fertilizer getting ready to plant those seeds so when mercury stations retrograde and those seeds are planted things will begin to blossom and take off very swiftly. So now is a very opportune time for preparation for what it is that you want to manifest and create. If you haven't seen the manifestation video, make sure you check that out from yesterday. And also I kept picking up on the energy of a continuation of yesterday's energy, which is just kind of how energy vibration works. It's a constant continuous cycle of flow from one to the next from one to the next so the energy vibration of yesterday as we moved into um, Taurus season was all about establishing that independence the autonomy establishing the solid foundation but really growing into self-mastery and also the ability to come into um, the energy of manifestation so destined for greatness is the name um, of that particular reading destined for greatness and so now that we have Jupiter and Uranus it's really bringing in and honing in on those unique characteristics of you and I want to say that the energy vibration for the manifestation reading yesterday was also picking up on that vibration because it was talking about 
creating your own niche and sticking in your own lane. All right, beautiful souls. Let's go ahead and see what the energy vibration is bringing in today for the collective. For Saturday, April the 20th, 2024. April the 20th, 2024. For some reason, I was about to say 2022. So go back into your timeline, your mind, or even in your phone and take a little glimpse and see what was going on for you on April the 20th of 2022. For the collective spirit, what does the collective need to know for their highest vibration? No good. For Saturday, April the 20th, 2024. 20 days are also portal days. They're days of ascension because you move from one timeline to the next. You ascend up another octave or what we consider another notch. 10, 20, 30, 40 as you complete each individual cycle of 10 we evolve and we elevate it's an elevating energy and it's also the energy of judgment being called in on to do something or also it's an energy day of reflection reflecting back to 2022 april the 20th 2022 there's something about that two 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 energy it's definitely bringing in multiple opportunities and doors opening for you to ascend into much more. Ascending into more is the energy vibration that I'm getting. And five more shuffles for knowledge. And wisdom. Six of cups energy. Perfect self-expression. Safety and stability. Power and refinement. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. Ooh, beautiful souls, I trust that these messages find you in sound mind, body, and spirit, and that you are well in all your ways. Let's look and see what opportunities are coming in for the collective. Opportunities coming in for the collective. Transformation. You cannot make it up, most definitely. This is an opportune time for you to really shed whatever energy from the past so you can truly transform into something new. This is letting go of old limiting mindsets and beliefs or letting go of the way things used to be. Oftentimes when we're in the energy of transformation and change, one of the things that we do is we kind of bunker down and we try to hold on to everything that's in our environment. We try to hold on to what is. But the only problem with holding on to what is, this is an energy of blockage. It doesn't allow you to bring in new when you're too tightly trying to hold on to everything that you already have, right? Because this is your comfort zone. This is your safety net. This is what you already know. You're afraid. Oftentimes we're afraid of change because it's fear of the unknown. What's going to happen? You know, what are we going to do or how is things going to evolve next? Well, right now I'm really safe and secure in what it is that I've already accumulated, what it is that I already have. But if I let go of this and go through the transitional energy of five, which is an energy of change, then what is the newness going to be? Well, the beautiful thing about that transformation and change is it brings you to brand new opportunities it's amazing or how this energy the 13 is an energy of four so it brings you into an energy of a new stability a new way of doing things new roots you know new establishments new potential and new possibility and going into the energy of the day omnipotent potential so there's so much new omnipotent potential look you can't see my um incense that's burning over here but the in the smoke is going straight up in the air straight up in the air like a rocket so that's really letting me know that this is all about upward ascension for you and that things are only going to be moving in an upward projection from here that 20 energy elevating you to the next level so don't be fearful of whatever changes are taking place in your life right now try not to hold on to anything too tightly be adaptable 
to the energy of change. Change is the only constant that we have in our lives and change is positive because it transforms us and helps us develop and grow. What I just saw in my mind's eye, I don't know if you guys have, I don't know if they call them memes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this cartoon um, where you have the caterpillar and the butterfly. And the caterpillar tells the butterfly, wow, you've changed. And then the, the butterfly says something along the lines of, aren't we all? Like, aren't we all supposed to change? Do you want to stay the caterpillar in your life forever? Or do you really want to transform into the butterfly, sprout your wings and grow? actions to take what are the actions for the collective to take actions to take all right so we're actually going to be taking a couple this one was calling out to me and these two fell out so we have magician energy the actions to take is to really truly put together or start initiating your plan whatever it is that you're manifesting start focusing on it this is an energy with the five of wands energy that's telling me that, yeah, you may have a lot of competition around you or a lot of people that are looking at what it is that you're doing. But this is really bringing up for me an internal power struggle. You see how they're fighting. It's almost like they have a rope and they're tug of warring here. This is like a fight that you've got going on within the self because you want to hold on to your old way of existence. You want to hold on to what is comfortable for you, your safety net, and you're kind of fighting with yourself about about this brand new beginning but you know in order for you to initiate this brand new beginning you do have to transform and change i'm getting the energy of travel look at this world yeah you have to let go of something and something in order for something brand new to come in the old cycle is complete and you have to allow it to be complete so that you can move towards the new but there's this power struggle that's going on within you right now because of the comfort and the safety and the security that you've already established but then starting this brand new thing is almost like starting from the ground up starting from the beginning but you're not starting from the beginning because when you really truly think about it you have all of the tools the wisdom and the knowledge from what you've already gained you have more than you had before and you're actually starting on a new playing field with that 20 energy you're starting at a new level but you've brought with you everything that you've learned and accumulated up until this point look at that queen of pentacles energy yeah it's your creative muse your ability to be creative, your ability to manifest, your ability to create an environment that is conducive for growth. And this is bringing me back to that tilling of the soil energy, putting down the fertilizer, getting the ground, your environment ready for transformation and change. And the other thing that kept coming up in my mind's eye during meditation was also the energy of cleaning your home right cleaning your home environment opening up the windows and the doors doing a nice spring cleaning you know smudging blessing and really eliminating any of the stagnant energy that may have been left over from the winter seasons or even if you just smudged and blessed last week it's like do it again right because one of the things that i'm i've, I've been brought into understanding about is the corners of your room making sure you hit the corners the four corners of your room because stagnant energy negative energy negative entities like to lie in those crevices of the corners of your moon um, of the moon Ooh, look at that during um, okay so we're getting moon energy coming through here cleansing and we do have the full moon energy that is coming up um what energy is coming up what moon cycle is it? Well, we have the energy vibration of Taurus here. We're in the Taurian season. And looking at the energy vibration of the moon here. And so what we're going into is opening up into the energy of that moon cycle and really cleansing out and making space for what is going to be new what's coming into your life new possibilities new potential new change is coming in and how you're going to evolve through that energy of change and transformation so really really looking at um 
new potentials and new possibilities transforming in that energy and really aligning to what is the new possibilities and the new potential that's coming in and the energy of the full moon is going to be on april the 23rd and it is at 7 48 p.m eastern time where i am and really go and it's i think i want to say it's called the rose of pink moon pink moon energy and that pink moon energy is all about healing but it's also about planting those seeds, right? We're planting the seeds for the new manifestations. And with the Taurian energy, it's all about long-term gains. It's all about your investments. And I kept getting property yesterday. Property kept coming up big, maybe doing renovations on your home so that you can bring up your property value. I'm getting the external of your property as well, the landscaping of it, the exterior aesthetics of it, the beauty of it transforming and changing your environment that is going to help bring in positive energy it's almost like when you're transforming and changing in your life you have to dress the new part dress to the occasion so if you want to take on more of a business persona maybe you may want to go out and buy you a couple of outfits or a couple of um, a wardrobe right a mixing matching wardrobe where you have the ability to step into the persona of what it is that you're going into so you want to dress the part feel the part you want to think the part you want to bring in the vibration of where you're transforming and how you're changing and that's the energy of the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles energy is a taurian energy but it is the energy of capricorn so it's talking about your outward experience outward appearance and it's also talking about how you show up in the world so it's something about you transforming and changing how you're showing up in the world and releasing this internal power struggle that you have between what you already have this transformation process and this newness that you're going to be evolving into evolving into more is what i keep hearing and what is the potential outcome potential outcome potential outcome look at this moon energy your potential outcome is not really clear right now but you have to trust your intuition look at this eight of pentacles just do the work the eight of pentacles energy is saying that yes it is a scary time for you because you are going through a transformation you are going through an ascension you are evolving into more but you do not quite have all of the answers but you have to trust your intuition and trust your inner knowing and that takes me back to the energy of the day where it was really saying take calculated risks will pay off if you truly believe in what you are creating personally professionally and financially it's truly believing in who you are mercury stations direct at 15 degrees 15 degrees or the energy of 15 talks about acknowledging being aware of the new you that is transforming and changing it's also an energy of 15 it's devil energy it's bondage energy you have to break yourself free from the bondage the 15 to the 16 is the tower energy that breaks yourself free from the old limiting mindsets and beliefs from the old paradigm so that you can shift and change into the new so we need to eliminate the energy of fear here is what i'm getting release the energy of fear stop going back and forth with this power struggle over who you are currently and where you're transforming and where you really truly want to be and this is mastery of self right doing the work mastering your skills talents and abilities this is an energy of spiritual growth as you're learning more you're doing more you're creating more and whatever it is that you're creating you will be sought after as the master teacher this is an energy of you will be a master teacher in what it is that you're creating right look at this herman energy you cannot make it up you have two gurus here you have the hierophant energy which is a guide and a teacher and you have the energy of the hierophant which is also a master teacher as well so you have this energy perhaps you may need to hire a mentor or a coach or someone to help guide you along this transformational journey and path or potentially you are evolving into the spiritual teacher here but there's something else about spiritual teaching and this is the energy of your life's trajectory the path and the plan in which you're meant to go this is saying be um, fearless 
be fearless in this new path that you're going on. Be fearless in the energy of your adventure. And it takes me back into the energy of the three, which isn't, I mean, not the energy of three, the energy of five, which is talking about the energy of the explorer, the traveler, multidimensional, changeable and adaptable. Be adventurous, but you have that magnetism energy as well. You're magnetizing the energy of what it is that you're creating. You're aligning perfectly with this new path, this new trajectory that you're going on in life. And you're studying, right? You're a student of your own development. This is the energy of gaining knowledge of self, gaining the inner, the wisdom, the tools. The only way we gain understanding is to go through the process of learning. And right now, this is a process of learning that you are a spiritual guide and a teacher. You are an energy of a healer. You are the energy of a spiritual guide, and you're helping to transform and change and uplift not only yourself but the life of others with the energy of Gemini talks about community it talks about siblings it talks about community it's an energy exchange what you put out into the world you get back and look at this you have the emperor energy followed by the empress energy so this is letting me know that you're also in alignment with coming into a, a divine union or building a, a higher connection between the union that you're already in you're both going everyone right now is going through a transformation and a change so as you transform and change you're learning new things about yourself you're learning new things about this thing that we call life you're coming into a more grounded more stable and more confident guide as well as teacher and you're continuing to sharpen your tools and master your ability to be that guru or that guide and you're doing it with the energy of love, right? Following your heart. This is the energy of heart coherence as well. Mind and heart coherence is the energy that we have here. Doing it with compassion and creating a brand new world for yourself. This is using the energy of alchemy, using the energy of all of the tools, air, earth, fire, and water, and really truly coming into alignment with your divine masculine and divine feminine energy and you're also calling in divine masculine and divine feminine energy but you're becoming wiser through this experience as you continue to gain more knowledge upon this journey this is my life school energy all of the things that we go through all of the obstacles the try and the triumphs right they're not always negative we triumph over any obstacles that we come through in our lives that help support us upon our journey that makes us wiser hermit energy is bringing you into a wiser state of yourself and this is also the energy of virgo which is talking about continuous work on yourself but also being diligent and nine of uh, the knight of pentacles came out in the pre-shuffle and the first thing that i thought about was being methodical you know, constantly, continuously doing the work, taking it step by step, day by day, executing your plan, keeping a record, doing, you know, um, going through your planner and really having a set goal, having set things that you do on a daily basis that is going to help you to stay organized, but it's also going to help you to be able to develop better. So as you continue to work and continuously work on yourself, you're transforming into that higher spiritual being. You're continue you're coming into alignment with your or we, but you're also becoming more powerful. And this is the energy of power transformation and change. So let's go ahead and look and see what your angel number is for today. We have the energy of four. We have 13 energy plus one is 14. 19 energy, which is the sun is bringing us to 10. So we have the energy of four, one and nine. 419 energy here. What is the angel number for the collective today? Energy of 419. You and your angels are working together on the fruition of your divine life purpose. Stay in prayerful contact and communication with the angels so you'll always know the best steps to take next. That has been your energy of the day, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I'm honored and I am truly grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? 
go ahead and hit that like button share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe become a part of the soul Joiner family where we learn grow and expand together working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time and that unique soul is you until our soul paths cross again soul joiners i am wishing you love peace blessings happiness and abundance beyond to you have a blessed and abundant day namaste Sunshine Sunshine Folks get down in the sunshine Sunshine